We are Carl and Caddy. This week, we're just showing you some of the things that you have to consider when you're doing up a yacht. I've been working in the dungeon. It's out with the old, that's the old toilet pump unit there. It was a hand pumped unit. Made a heap of space, chopped out some walls. Gonna mount the uh, membranes down the wall there vertically. Water filters are in. We're getting there slowly. It's a bit warm. See? having a bit of a sweat time that's why they call it the dungeon well after another day of installing the water maker we are getting there slowly we've got less stuff on the table to go which is great got some filters there there for our drinking water so i'm going to do that as well sort out our drinking water so that's good got a few more spare fittings got the control panel over there that'll have to wait till the mounting comes in and in the dungeon i've neatened it up a bit sorted out some cables i have mounted the two membrane tubes pump is in position not screwed down yet filters more filters and one-way valves filters there's the water flush timer because it needs to be flushed with fresh water every week. Non-return valves and so on. And a bit of pressure line and that there for the pump to go in when it arrives. So another day and it should be looking a lot better. Should have most of it hooked up, I think. Pump all in position. Got to get some power to the pump. And then we're good to go. We'll give it a test. But that will take a little while because we're still waiting for the pump to come in, like I said. But we're getting there anyway. That's good. Because it's been warm. And I've been sweating in the dungeon. But anyway, I'm happy. And now it is... Beer o'clock. Look what I've done. I've got you a gift. <laughs> the best gift a husband can give a wife. Oh, oh yes. Huh? Look at that. A washing machine. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. It's so nicely hidden in the cupboard. Now, I haven't tested it yet. We've got to turn this on every time. That's fine. That's a good thing. Power. Yeah, probably yeah, turn it on. Do that as well, yeah. And let's see we now. We're just going to keep an eye to make sure that overflow hose doesn't hop out. Right. The start. Yeah. And let's go. Oh, my gosh. You're just going for it. Go for it, maybe. Jeez. So we loved our Kamek washing machine in the caravan, but we just couldn't make it work in the boat. So we've gone for the upright which uh, somebody did point out to me, it can be a bit easier in the fact that you can open it if it um, balances and that you can put water in from the top. So if you've got a bucket of water that you want to use, you can chuck it in. Whereas if you have a front loader, can't do any of that. You can close the door. Yep. And you can hide it. Who knows where that washing machine is? <laughs> it's still there. Oh, wow. No, it really is. <laughs> and is the lights on? Does the light go on? It's not a refrigerator. Lights on. I know I have to turn it off. I don't know. Yes, I know. It's still on. 
by now. Well, hopefully we have no leaks flooding anywhere. Hopefully not. And hopefully the sump pump can handle the rapid inflow because it's only a little sump. What would happen if it doesn't handle it? It'll flood. So I probably need to lift the floor to check that. It had lots of doings to make that happen. Yes. Shelves, water, electrical, every single thing actually. <laughs> yep, you did very well. And most of it got done while I was down on the sunny coast. So I didn't even have to listen to all the swearing. No, I swear it hardly. No water leaking. That's great. Does it stop when you open it? No. Doesn't care. Yeah. More hidden work here that I had to do. So what did you have to do in here? That, for that right, one quarter of home. You drill a hole, a new hole into the sump. Oh. Get a holes. Yep. Get a special fit in. It's got bubbles in there. Um, because I just washed soapy water down. Oh. Okay. So is that the sump? Yeah. That, that little is. square thing? Yeah. It looks like a lunchbox. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got concrete in the bottom. I never knew it. Oh. How do we float if we've got concrete? There's a boat. It needs ballast, so keep it up right. Otherwise, it'll tip over when the sail's up. Okay. Ooh, it was like it can just keep up. And the leaks. Wiener, wiener, chicken dealer. No leaks down there. Washing machine not flooding. None. Good. Done. Fully commissioned. All yours. Carl's been on the job all morning. I'm just going to take you to see what he's done. Is that all you've done? Yeah. Just changing the wood so that we can um, put willow. Got a little bit of a rotting issue over here. Oh, let me come and look. Oh, holy shit. I've literally a hole. Yeah. Oh. Literally badness. Literally badness. Yeah, so he's just trying to put this in its place. Yeah. Good job. Well, that's not the best, is it? But No, but at least you found it now, I suppose. That's the way it is. The other side wasn't too bad. It's just this one. Yeah, yeah. It's in steel. Bugger. 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 I've got a new job for today. We've been having a little bit of a problem with our fridge. Well, there's a couple problems, but one problem is that it's very, very difficult to get stuff in and out of the fridge. It cools super good, but things get lost when you put them down the back corners of either side of the fridge. And it's quite hard to control where everything is. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and bought a new fridge. And we're gonna use that in conjunction with the other fridge. So our plan is to put our veggies and that in here, which makes it super easy to access them. Just as a veggie fridge. And that one can still be used as everything else fridge, but we can put our veggies in here and our eggs and that sort of thing. And hopefully it'll work well. We're gonna put that under this chair. So that's today's job. I think it might run into a couple of days because I'm gonna need some wood and everything else, but that's where we're heading. The rest of our water maker is also coming, so I'll show you that. In amongst the vacuum cleaner, we have got our main pumps, hoses, meter panel, mounting things, filters, and everything else we should need for the water maker. 
So I'm also going to get on to doing some of that because that'll take a little while to work out to mount the pump and power it all up. But they're the two main jobs we got. And we've moved everything from the van into the boat completely. So we've sort of got stuff everywhere. Looking a bit hectic again. It was clean for two days and now it's just crazy. Trying to sort that out and find homes for everything. But for now, onto the fridge. And it's an ever cool fridge. Got no idea how they're going to perform. It's 40 litres, which is a reasonable size. It's about the biggest that we could find. There are cheaper ones from Kings and that, but I was a bit wary about them. And they're a smaller capacity, so chose a 40 litre one. And we'll see how it goes. Let's get into it. Look at this. I went outside for a little bit. I've come back and there's a fridge. Looking for it. The bit difficult this is. I can imagine it is. They haven't made it very easy. They've made the smallest little screws um, that don't really fit well in your screwdriver because they're cheap as. Oh. And then they want you to screw it in here. Oh. Which luckily I made it off the ground a bit. Yes. Because if it was on the ground, you'd have no help. This is day two of refrigerator. And that's just the new strut that you've put in. Yep. <laughs> so we replace the old one. Wow. Good news. The fridge is all done, all installed and all working. I'll show it to you. I've got a bit of under boob sweat happening. Not super attractive, but that's the way it is. It's warm. So it sort of looks like I used old trim the best that I could find. So it's not perfect, but it still does look good. And my lovely hostess will show you how to operate it. Look at that. So pretty. How nice is that? For all our fruit and veg. And we can still use our other one as well. But like I said, it'll free up the main fridge. Because it's super difficult to get to. Easy. And it's right next to the kitchen. So, it's not too hard. So... Chef's happy. I'm excited. Which is me. I know that's you. <laughs> I'm still excited. Yeah, because she can get the fridge easier. Yeah. You can get to the beers easier. And speaking of beers. It's that time. It's beer o'clock. <laughs> I've earned it today. Yeah. And I've sealed the deck as well in the sun. Yes. So anyway, onto it. Beer o'clock. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you next time. Who's up to more mischief? That's better. No more cave-like appearance. A light that actually works. Look at that. It's actually lit up and you can see. So much better. Two settings. High, medium. These are exactly the same lights we have in our caravan. And we like them. Because it's got warm, 
white as well as white white. It's good for both. Super good. And we know they're reliable because we've used them for four years in our van without any failures. So that's pretty good. Can't complain about that, hey? Right yeah. On to the next. All good. Lights done. Look at that. Man make fire and light. He's smart, hey? Lights are all done. Time to pack up. If you like our content and think we're okay, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing helps us and commenting helps us even more within YouTube. So if you want us to continue, please subscribe. Now, can you levitate out of the way, please? Levitate. Oh. Move my fat ass. Check. Check and see. I hope so. Going anywhere without a battery. Oh, that's healthy. Yeah, only out two batteries. Since we were young, chased by the sun, feeling the tide rise. Your blood is my blood, your skin is my skin, sister, my heart. My twin Sometimes I wanna go